Hi, I'm Mandy Bishop Myers. Professionally, I go by Mandy Bishop. You may know me from Twitter as at Mandy B Pro. I'm really excited to be giving the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation Culture of Health Leaders Program my first grant proposal ever. I'm thrilled to be participating in this initiative because I truly believe that the power to change healthcare has to start within micro communities at the community level. So my proposal is called Three Miles from the Highway and it was inspired by the drive that I take with my daughter to her school every morning. My daughter attends a magnet program in a very depressed area of Duval County and we live in St. John's County. And you can see I've looked at what the social determinants of health are between Duval and St. John's County and some of the key indicators are the poverty level is very different. Duval's at 18.2, St. John's at 4.9. The percentage of high school graduates for Duval County is at 68 as opposed to St. John's County which is at 98. So we took that down to the even more specific micro community level and we looked at the disparities in healthcare services that were available along that three mile stretch of highway. So between my house and I-95, we have three primary care physicians, two pediatricians, three dentists, two eye doctors, four specialists, whether that's uh, endodontists or orthopedics associates, an urgent care facility, four pharmacies. In the same three miles, when you get off the highway and you go to my daughter's school, there's no healthcare service available. There are no doctors, there are no pediatricians, there are no dentists, there's not even an urgent care facility. So the availability of healthcare services within this depressed area is nil, and access to care uh, is, is seemingly non-existent. So from our perspective, my daughter's and my perspective, there's a tremendous opportunity to address healthcare where these communities live. We have a number of shelters where they are domestic violence and homeless shelters. This community has a very strong faith population. There are nine churches. There are two food pantries, there are two strip clubs, and there are three paycheck loan organizations. So when you're looking at micro segmentation and you're looking at the populations that you want to be able to serve here, these are all indicators of where services could be performed. So what I want to do with my proposal to the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation for this grant is to identify these opportunities, to ethnographically work with the communities themselves to understand what they need, identify the community services and the insurers and the healthcare providers that can work with us to develop a new system of healthcare, to deliver care to these communities where they are. So I'm Mandy Bishop, thank you so much for listening to my proposal.